today on Trisha. She is not here to break up my marriage. I'm here to the long haul. When she got pregnant, he denied her baby. I walk in the club, the first thing I see is her dancing on somebody like they got a hand all up. Now her brother is playing dad. I talk him in bed. You want to go to the park? I take him to the park. If he hungry, I make sure he got, he got food. But he says it's time for the real dad to step up. I'm more for father than you will ever be to Kayla. It's time to man up, LeBrendan. The DNA results no one saw coming. His oh, hands are shaking. This woman is convinced her stepmother is cheating on her dad. Are you saying, Jessica, you have never, ever cheated on your No, I have never cheated. Wife. He should have left her the first time she spread her legs for another man. Caught between his wife and his daughter. What did he say to you at work? He called her his booty call. Is this a case of an evil stepmother or a lying daughter? Did you have sexual intercourse with the man who claimed you were his booty call at work? The polygraph determined that Jessica. No more blame, no more accusations. The truth is about to be revealed. Trisha starts right now. Shanita. For five years, Shanita dedicated her life to her ex-boyfriend, LeBrandon. But when Shanita told LeBrandon that she was pregnant, all hell broke loose, and he began to deny her now four-year-old son, Caleb. Aww. Now, LeBrandon says that Caleb can't be his because he caught Shanita behind closed doors with another man. Ooh. Yep. And shockingly, someone else has stepped in as Caleb's father, Shanita's own brother, General. And he... <laughs> yeah. He means a lot to you. I love him. He, love him. He's been there as, as... Every step of the way. Like a, a father Just figure like, to your yeah, little boy? He'd take him to get Erica. He'd do everything for my little man. Everything. All day. He so he father. steps he in where LeBrandon father. fears to tread. Exactly. Well, let's it talk about go... let's talk about LeBrandon. Okay. So you two get together. You dated for how long? We dated for five years. So when and you... now he's denying my baby. So when you got pregnant, how was he then? I'm expecting you to hug me, kiss yeah. me, and say, "Okay, yeah, we're yeah, having a baby." Yeah. No, that's not what happened. What he happened? he just acted a, a plum fool. Craziness. Did he and go to any appointments with you? No, no appointments. Was he at the, the hospital with myself. you? He didn't sign a birth certificate, so no, he was not there. What was his reasoning for this? My son don't look like him. He's too light. He don't. But, hang on, but, 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 but you yours. said he freaked out the minute you were pregnant. He didn't yes. even see what your son looked like then. Exactly. So what was his so, issue then? Because his, his friends and, and his mouth, their mouths talking about, I'm sleeping with this guy, I'm sleeping with that guy. No, I am not sleeping with nobody. You're not going to tell me that I'm sleeping with somebody. You're just not about to do that. All right, so are you saying you never, ever, ever cheated on LeBrandon? No, ma'am, I did not cheat on LeBrandon. And he's not about to say that I cheated on him. He's not about to do that. So, did you ever have men round to your house? Yes, but just like he has male friends, I have male friends. If, oh. I'm, if I'm sitting in the car with somebody just talking, you, oh, he's the father. I'm like, no. Does he say that? Yes. He says that, and I'm like, no. So if you, say to, not, him, if you say to him about Brandon, take the little boy for a haircut or something, what does he say to you? You need to get his, his dad. I'm like, you are his dad. What do you mean? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Has, has the Brandon ever looked at any other guy and said, oh, he looks like, he looks like uh, your son? I have a Facebook. Right. I had everybody on Facebook. Yeah. I don't care who's on Facebook. It's just Facebook. Yeah. So I added this man on Facebook, and he's like, oh, he looked like Caleb. He could be the dad. And I'm like, are you serious? Have you met that guy? No, I don't even know him. I'm like, you just, I said, something's really, really wrong with you. You really need to go get checked because <laughs> you need to take a step up and be a man and take care of your responsibility. Because yeah. he's a yeah. great boy. He's yeah. a great child. You can, anybody you ask, ask my, when my brother come, ask yeah. him. He's wonderful. He's not bad. But things so, changed when you got pregnant. Yes. He didn't accuse you before any of that happened? 
He used to say he used to say sly stuff, but it got really, really worse when I got pregnant. He probably had it in his head that I was cheating or something, but he didn't say nothing to me about it. He okay. just wanted to, I guess, keep it in. But when I got pregnant, that's when it all came you're out. hoping the DNA test, you're saying you never ever cheated. So yes. there's, he, you're 100% that LeBrandon is... Is Caleb's father. Is his... Yes. Yeah, right. What do you want him to do? If the DNA test comes back and proves that, what do you want him to I do? I just want... I don't, I don't want nothing from him. Just take care of your responsibility. Take care of your son. Be there for your son. But like I said, I just like I told you, I, I still love him. I still love him. I still care. What? You still love... I, I love, still love LeBron, and I, I just you want do? him to take responsibility for Caleb. If you could have him back, would you take him back? He's a good man. He just not, he's just being a deadbeat. Okay. He's just being a deadbeat. He, he's a sweetheart. He just, he's just horrible it, right now. Well, I think it's time we gave LeBron a chance to explain his reasons for denial. So, everyone, please welcome LeBron. <laughs> Hello. Hey, how you doing, Trisha? Don't clap for him. Shut up. Don't clap for him. It's my turn to talk. Don't clap for him. It's my turn to talk. It's my turn to talk. Why do you have that? No, I'm going to continue to talk. It's my turn to talk. You just had your time to talk. It's my turn to talk. Well, when you step up and take care of Caleb, then I won't say nothing. Can you please ask her to be quiet? It's my turn to talk. I will not be quiet. When my baby is taken care of and my brother won't have to do it, then therefore I won't say nothing. You are lying. I'm about to shut up and let me talk. I'm not lying. You're lying. So what made you so sure, what makes you so sure Caleb is not your son? I had nothing, nothing for me make me think that Caleb's not mine. It was all her. Everything she what? did, no, because you're listening to your friends. Hold on, shut up. Let me, okay. Let, me Let, me Let me talk. Let me talk. Let me talk. Let me talk. Okay. Uh, well, I was in Mississippi. In I was business. visiting my family. In Mississippi. Yes, ma'am. I decided. How I was you in Mississippi when we made it? Can you shut up? Let's hear this. Let's hear this. Please. Yeah. All right, I was in Mississippi visiting my family. Yeah. I decided that I'm going to pop up on her, I'm going to visit her, I'm going to surprise her. I'll come to her house, it's a car outside. I've never seen this car before, it's never there. So I'm like, okay. You don't know I go who in the my house. friends are. I, I go in friends. the house, I knock on the door. I knock yeah. on her room door. I hear a little rumbling in the room. Come on. I've been in Yo, that room. Are you serious? I've been in that room a million what? times. I've been in that room a million so times. Said... I know that rumbling noise. I knocked on the door. One of her family members said, Shanita, LeBron is here. And I no came answer. to the door. Nobody came to the door. I came to the door. I went outside. I, I left. Guess what? She right. like, why, you why you leave? Why you leave? I a, said, you up there. Can I talk? Can I talk? So if I don't want to open the door for you, can I, talk? I don't have to. Can I talk? When you hey, step hey, up hey. and take care of your child, then that's what I'll do. All right, just shut up and be a woman and let me talk. You be a man. You be a man and take care of your responsibility. How about this? You're not about to play me. Okay, okay. Too. Just because there was another car in the driveway, have you seen that car anywhere else? And the crazy thing about it is, Trisha, two months later. Now, this is before I started denying it, but this is around the time when she supposedly got pregnant. Yeah. Right. Okay. I went to the club. I popped up on at the club. She didn't know I was coming. I walk in the club. The first thing I see is her dancing on somebody like they got her hands all on. Her friend, one of her friends looked at me. She had. She said, she ain't seen serious? me yet. Okay. As more and more time passed by. Well, I had what? the doubts in guess my head. Yeah, I, I had the doubts in my head. What? I can do what I want to do. How about? But you're not doing what you have about? to do. I can Who do what I want to do. Man, as long as what you do what other you man have to do is going to take son. care of another man's baby? You going to take not care me. of your baby? Not me. You're I'm not taking care of nobody else's baby. Not me. Not me. I don't care Just a minute. Just a minute. LeBrandon. Shut up. Let me talk about looks. Do you think? Hang on. Do you think LeBrandon? Do you think Caleb looks like you? No, ma'am. You want me to tell you why you don't look like me? Because your jeans suck. He has, you look like he me. He has his you ears. Look like me. His you ears. Look like me. No. He looks like you and somebody else, not me and you. He looks like you and somebody else, not me and you. My baby look like he me. Has, his, we don't have the same eyes. Like we don't have the same ears. We don't have the same head. We don't have the same Who nothing. Who do you think he looks like? Did you see? I so think he looks like Shanita and somebody else. One oh, day, wow. one he, day, he I, popped like up, I popped He's up at her at the house. Wait, just a minute. You, She's sitting in the car. You do a lot of popping up. She's sitting in the car. She's sitting in the car with some dude. I never seen him before. Why is she over there with you? I go to the car, look right at him. He looked just like Caleb. So I had to be a smart ass. I had to be a smart ass. Like like I'm baby. like, that's his daddy. She's like, you're crazy. You said, no, that's his daddy right there. No, it wasn't. That's what I said. You was off the chain. Hang on, just a minute. That's not, no. You know? That's not my baby. All right. You are. Hang on. You were together for five years. Were you in love with her? Yes, man. I'm still in love with her. Yeah. All this, all, this, all this stuff I had to deal with, I'm still in love with. So but I'm not going to take care of nobody else's child. So why 
Because why do, do you that. give it? Ma, why do my brother have to take care of this? Yeah. Why do First my brother all, have to take on your First of all, that's a good that's a good question. Why do my brother have to do everything? She would have never put no damn doubts in my head. Shut up. If you wouldn't put no doubts in my head, then we would never have this problem. You did it, so I'm going to take responsibility no. for myself, don't you, not don't you, you and your, your mistakes that you made. Don't you tell your boys no. to grab their no. ass. No. That's what the no. hell you need to do no. is grab your ass no. and take responsibility. No, 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 no. Well, you need to be a real woman. Hey, hey, hey. Shut now, up. I want to move on here. I want to move on here. Uh, since Shanita brought up her brother, General, he's the one, she told he's me. He's being, a, he's being the daddy. Uh, 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 do you get on with General? I don't, first of all, I used to get along when we used to be cool, yeah. but now I don't well, give a damn a what he got to say. They don't mess it ain't his business. No it's me and her situation. He, he need to worry about no him and whatever hey, he got in his life. Hey, 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 just a minute. It is his business if he's acting in the daddy role. You want to know why the reason why I say it's not his business? Yeah. The reason why I say it's not his business is because he don't know what she did. He oh. making out like I'm a bad person so, when he's not with her all the time. You he don't know what she did. All the time either. If you're in the club dancing on somebody like this, then most likely it's open for somebody. So, it wasn't me. So, so you can say what no. you want to say. Okay, let's take a break. Let's take a break. When we come back, we'll meet Shanita's brother, General. He's ready to give LeBrandon here a piece of his mind. And here's the big question. Is LeBrandon Caleb's father? The DNA results are in, so stay with us. <laughs> Next. I'm more of a father than you will ever be to Kayla. It's time to man up, LeBrendan. Later, she wants her stepmother out of her dad's life for good. Just because cheated on my dad three times. He should have left her the first time she spread her legs for another man. Are you saying, Jessica, you have never ever cheated on your No, husband? I have never She's cheated. A Lies and DNA. You're a lying, team. cheating whore. Today on Trisha. Welcome back. We've been talking to uh, Shanita. Shanita is determined to prove to her ex boyfriend, LeBrandon, that he is the father of her four year old son, Caleb. Now, LeBrandon says he knows he's not, and sadly, he's refusing to raise this little boy. Now, with nowhere to turn, Shanita moved in with her brother, General, and he's taken on the role of Caleb's father. So before we meet General, he had a message for you, LeBrandon. Check this out. LeBrandon, you are a sorry excuse for a man. You should be ashamed of yourself. How dare you deny this beautiful little boy who done nothing to deserve this. Ever since you decided it wasn't yours, I'm the one who been the father to him. I love him. I feed him. I buy him clothes. What do you do? Nothing. And you know damn well, Caleb is yours. You know Shanita is a good woman and she would never, never lie to you. LeBrennan, changes don't need to be made. I'm more of a father than you will ever be to Caleb. It's time to man up, LeBrennan. Wow, everyone, please welcome General. Okay, you're the one that that little boy runs to? Yeah, I do everything for that little boy. I tuck him in bed. You oh. want to go to the park, I take him to the park. If he hungry, I make sure he got, he got food and he eat. You Whatever you want. You know what I mean? No, what, what I'm he's saying? What I'm saying? You don't have to be his uncle. I'm not having to show him his daddy. You're his uncle. I'm not his daddy. Are you absolutely sure? Because LeBrandon made a good point. Uh, you love your sister very much, but maybe do. you don't I know do. what she sister. gets up to. But no. I mean, LeBrandon yeah, no don't idea. know what he's Trish, talking Trish, about. Trish, Trish, yeah. That's my blood. So at the end of the day, any two men up, she's been with him for five years. Five years. I now, I don't back. care. Five years. I'm speaking you, lies. You, you can't, you, so you can't get time back. back. Yeah. You can't get time back. You want to do five years of her life? You're not even a dad, man. Be a man of our men up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, hey, hey, hey. Now, a few months ago, 
Am I right in thinking, Shanita, a few months ago you actually moved in with General, yeah? Yes, yes. because I'm having yes. a hard... I, like I said, I have four kids. I'm having a hard time taking care of all four of them. She if it wasn't for him, be, be going then, through that. I, like she I said, she I, be going through that. I said, I need help. I said, I need to come move in with you. And I tell you, I'm a man doubt, just like you a man. Without a doubt. He if said, I can do it, come so on. can you. He said, without well, a doubt. Well, be a man, man. Well, well, stop denying. Well, so, stop Brandon, denying. Let me ask LeBrandon. LeBrandon, I don't know what the DNA test results are going to reveal, but what if they do reveal that you are this little okay, boy's Trisha, daddy? I'm going to tell you just like this. I'm going to tell you just like this, Trish. You should be spending money on Caleb. Hang on, that's what you should be doing. Hang on, let me hear. I want to hear. If Caleb is my son... If... He is. I'm gonna apologize he for is. all the hell I caused. He I'm is. gonna, I get down on my knees and but apologize right now. But what about right the little now. boy? What? What, what about? Not what to about you know, don't apologize to me. I apologize to him. Exactly. I apologize that's to what him. That's what you need to do. That's what you need to apologize for. I'm gonna take responsibility for him. Yeah, I've been brand new. I'm gonna take care of him. All right. I'm gonna take care of him. Okay. So, hang on. Let's let's sort this out. And what you're here for are the DNA test results. So let's come to him. Let me get this right. You're the one with all the doubt, so shouldn't you? You should be the one to open this, yeah? I should be the one to open it. Yeah. Do I've you been waiting for this for years. You have? Yes, yes ma'am. Okay. Let me I don't know you what it is. You should you open, open it. Let's okay. see. That's the only thing you're doing right anyway. Okay. Just open it. Uh -oh. I, I, I right here? Yeah, right there. <laughs> don't your hands take your time, are shaking. His hands up. are shaking. <laughs> Coming up. Oh, His hands up. are shaking. But first, she wants her stepmother out of her dad's life for good. Just because she cheated on my dad three times. He should have left her the first time she spread her legs for another man. Are you saying, Jessica, you have never, ever cheated on your No, husband? I have never She's cheated. She's a wife. You are the cop. You're a fool. Lies and DNA. You're a of lying, tea. cheating whore. Today on Trisha. <laughs> this is Robin, and backstage is her beloved father, Larry. Now, Robin says she's here to save her father from this woman, her stepmother, Jessica. Now, you see, although Larry and Jessica have been together for 17 years, rumor has it that Jessica has been uh, sleeping around. In fact, Robin claims that when her father is away, Jessica is sneaking men in and out of their home. Now, Robin says she will do anything to protect her father. Let's listen to her story first. My dad, Larry, is my world. If it wasn't for him, I don't know where I'd be today. And I'm pissed. I know Jessica's cheating on him, and he doesn't deserve that. The only person tearing this family apart is that bitch, Jessica. She leaves for school early, she comes home late, she has two hours for break, and she doesn't even call. He tells us she's studying, but who in their right mind goes to the library for two hours every single day? Jessica has cheated on my dad three times. He should have left her the first time she spread her legs for another man. The worst part about it is, I think my little sister Vanessa is covering up for Jessica. Jessica can say what she wants about me. I'm not going anywhere till I get some answers. Wow. So, you really love your daddy? Yes, I do. He's been there for you the whole time? Yep. You live really close to them, same property. Yes. Have you seen anything going on while your daddy's away? There's strange cars in the driveway. <laughs> I don't know if they're there for my sister yeah. or if they're there for her. Right. You know, I don't know. I don't see I've... what happens inside closed doors. Yeah. But uh, does your dad confide in you? Yes. And what has he told you about what your stepmother's doing? Apparently, there's some teddy bear or something like that. Yeah. What is this? Yeah. Um, she, some guy, he'd give her a teddy bear. Right. And she, instead of bringing it home and explaining where she got it, he finds it when he goes out to feed the dogs in the trunk of a car, rolled up in a dog food bag. Whoa. As if she's trying to hide it. Right. So did he ask her where this teddy bear came from? Yeah. And there's numerous stories. Oh. One right. is she got it for um, her birthday. Right. Another is, it might have been for um, uh, Valentine's Day. Right. And another is, it may have been just because she had a bad day. 
So the story keeps changing. Right. Now, you also said in that bit of tape we saw that your dad should have got rid of her when she admitted to cheating. She's already admitted cheating? Three times, Trish. Three times. Three times. So did you well, did you say to your dad he should have got rid of her? Should have got rid of her when my sister was first born. Because there was questions about my dad not being the father. Whoa! If she's cheating, if your stepmother is cheating, what do you want to happen? I want... I want him to divorce her. I want him to... Wow! <laughs> wow! We need our home but back I together. Don't... But then your little sister, she's your little sister's mom. Right. And you think your, your sister's covering up for her mom? Yes, I do. Why? Well, um, my stepmom allows her to go see guys. She drops her off to see guys. Yeah. Do you think okay. your stepmom's a bad influence? Yes, then? I do. Wow. Yeah, what really. about this uh, ex, this, this co-worker of your dad's talking about your mum being his booty call? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, my dad had went to work there. Right. And Jessica was already working there. Yeah. Okay? So they was out on break one day. My dad and this guy was out on break. And this guy was explaining to him about this girl that he had, was having um, breaks bo- with. Right. Certain breaks. They was like... I don't know, having private breaks is what you would call it. <laughs> and the word booty call cool came up. Right. He I, was telling my dad that um, he was her, that he calls her his boo. Right. Oh. And my dad asked him what the hell a boo is. And he said, well, that's my booty call. And he described, and he described my dad's wife to a T. Oh. Now, have you actually said any of this to your stepmother? We have brought it up and mentioned it, but we try not to fight around my sister. Right. So half of this you haven't actually said to your stepmother no. about how you feel. No. You don't like her. No. Well, we wanted to bring closure to this family feud. So last night we set Jessica up with a lie detector test. Now we are going to have those results in a moment. But first, I want to give Jessica an opportunity to defend herself. So Jessica, come on out. <laughs> You look angry. Oh, yes, I'm very angry. You're a lying, cheating cheating whore. No, I'm not a lying, cheating whore. You're a bitch. Are you saying, Jessica, you have never, ever cheated on your husband? No, I have never cheated. She's a lying bitch. I have never never cheated on my husband in 17 years. But at the beginning of the relationship, did you cheat? I cheated. Three times. No, I did not. I cheated one time. Yeah. And he held it against me. He knew about it when right. I cheated very in the very beginning. And so you say he keeps bringing it up? Yes. Now, the teddy bear that your co-worker gave you, what was that for? Okay. It was very long time ago, and I don't know if and it was... And she hid for... it in a dog food bag in the trunk. Right. Would you shut up okay. and mind your own business? Mind my own business? Oh. Hell, that's my dad. Hey, just a minute. Now, do you bring men into the house when your husband's not there? No. My daughter has a boyfriend that comes over. Oh, okay. Now, what about this co-worker where you work who said you were his booty call? He spread it all around the whole factory that I was his booty call, and I never even slept with this what man. What about the private breaks? I never even had a private break. No. Man. <laughs> Did not. School. Why don't you mind your own business on, and deal with your own family? So, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Hang on, just a minute, just a minute. Um, th- the other thing that uh, your stepdaughter Robin was saying was that she's suspicious about how long you spend in the library. I spend every break of mine in the library. I have three classes. Right. Okay, and I do all of my studying in the library because I have family time than I deal with at home. You're saying you've never, ever, ever cheated? No, I have not. So you live in a town of five, 500 people, a really small town. Yes. Is there a lot of gossip about you? There was a year ago. Oh. It has been for months. There was a it year ago. It has been for the past three months. Do you think she's jealous of you? I don't give a damn if she is jealous of me. <laughs> Sweetheart, and I'm she here for the long is not going to break up my marriage. I'm here for she... the long haul. Your ass can go. She is not going to break up my marriage to my 
my husband that I've been with for 17 years. Okay. If the lie detector proves what you're saying is right, do you want an apology? Do you want her to say something? Oh, yes, I and do. And I apologize if it's right. If it comes and back, I'm yes, definitely wanting an apology woman, for my husband. I will woman and, husband. Up, and I will apologize. But I'm telling you right now, if it's wrong and you cheated, your ass is gone. Yeah. No, that is not your decision to make. It's my okay, let's, your take body decision. let's take a break. As you know, Larry is convinced that Jessica never stopped cheating on him. So I want you all to take a look at how Larry feels about being betrayed by his wife. Watch this. I've been with my wife Jessica for 17 years, and I've been a good man to her. But all the evidence I found over the last few years had me convinced she's cheating on me. I've had men come up to me at work and tell me she was his booty call. And I've even had a man come to my house and tell me he was having an affair with my wife. The worst part is she's even getting gifts from other men. I found a teddy bear. She hid in the trunk of our car. She claims he gave it to her because she's having a bad day. I don't believe it. I'm tired of the rumors, and so is my daughter, Robin. Jessica says it's none of my daughter's business, but it is. I really hope Jessica isn't cheating. But if she is, we're going to get a divorce. It'll be over. Oh. Wow. Um, bottom line is, it's none of your business. It is my business. No, it isn't. It is. No, it isn't. Why don't you stick your own st out of it? Oh! oh. Hang on, let's take a break. Let's take a break. Let All right. Let's take a break. Up next, Larry confronts his wife of 17 years and gets the results of her lie detector test. Next. So you really believe your wife is cheating? I believe evidence is pointing that way. It better not ever be brought up again. It will not. If you can't see it, it won't. It if you fail, you're done. Later. Oh, His hands are shaking. Sex, lies, and DNA. You're a lying, are cheating. cheating whore. Today on Trisha. Welcome back. Welcome back. We've been talking to Robin, who says her stepmother Jessica is. You talk about her as if she's a step monster. You really believe that she's been cheating on your dad, and uh, cheating for what? Just a few years? The whole 17 years they've been together? What do you suspect? Off and on. Off and on. And there are rumors of Jessica having wild affairs. They're flying around their small town. Now you deny all of that. So it's time to hear your husband Larry's side. So please welcome Larry. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. So you really believe your wife is cheating? I believe evidence is pointing that way. What sort of evidence? This guy who said, what did he say to you at work? That so she was his booty call? No, he called her his boo. His boo. And I asked what a boo was, he said a booty call. How do you know he was talking about Jessica? Because she was, we worked there together and he described her. Oh, what happened in the parking lot where you work? Was well, there some they, guy who was disciplined for something? I, I wasn't working there at the time. Right. But there was a rumor went around that somebody was giving oral sex in the parking lot. It could have been her. So uh, it certainly wasn't me. So do you think she's been cheating the whole time? Not the whole time. Oh, good. She had a breakdown been... again. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but for the past three months, it's been it's been more. So all these men supposedly so interested in her, why would she stay with you? That so I... she can't make it on her own. Yes, I can make it on my own. Uh, uh, I, I've I... been the one helping support your dad and your sister. Oh, yes, we've, I have. We yes, work together. Been working with your dad together. She could make he it He brings on. in some of the money as well. It's not just you. I have you. been working together with it's your dad. It's not just mm -hmm. you. So what happens, Larry, if she fails the lie detector test? We're going straight to the divorce court. Straight to the divorce court. Straight to the divorce court. Wow. And what happens if I pass it? Yeah, what well, I apologize, and we go on with life. Fact of the matter is, it better not ever be brought up again. It will not. If you pass it, it won't. Be... If you fail, you're done. And I want an apology straight from you. And Good. I told you you'd get it. All right. All right, well, Larry, as you know, your wife wanted to prove her innocence, so last night she took a lie detector test administered by Tim Acosta, our polygraph investigator. Um, and Tim now has the results, but before we come to that, let's uh, just familiarize you with who Tim is. Have a look at this. 
I was a detective with the New York City Police Department and served for over 20 years. I've investigated and solved countless crimes, including robberies, kidnappings, and murders. I've conducted hundreds of polygraph exams. Nothing gets past me or the test, nothing. I'm here for one thing and one thing only, to uncover the truth. Are you ready for the truth? nothing I'm going to read from this uh, these cards the questions that were asked of you Jessica what you said and Tim will tell us whether you were being truthful or not we asked you have you had sexual intercourse with any of the men you go to college with you said no Tim next did you have sexual intercourse with the man who claimed you were his booty call at work the polygraph determined that Jessica Later, How his are hands you? are shaking. You are the cop. You're off my stage. Sex, lies, and DNA. You're a are lying, cheating. cheating whore. Today on Trisha. My dad, Larry, is my world. If it wasn't for him, I don't know where I'd be today. And I'm pissed. I know Jessica's cheating on him, and he doesn't deserve that. You saying, Jessica, you have never, ever cheated on your no, husband? No, I have never She's cheated. She's a lying bitch. I have, I, have never, I, have never, I have never cheated on my husband but did in you 17 years. All the evidence I found over the last few years had me convinced she's cheating on me. I really hope Jessica isn't cheating, but if she is, we're going to get a divorce. It'll be over. As usual, I know nothing I'm going to read from this, uh, these cards, the questions that were asked of you, Jessica, what you said, and Tim will tell us whether you were being truthful or not. We asked you, have you had sexual intercourse with any of the men you go to college with? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Jessica was being truthful. You. Have, you, have you ever used the excuse you were going to a girlfriend's house when you were really going to meet another man? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Jessica was not being truthful. Oh! I don't Hang on, on. let's keep going. We asked you, did you have sexual intercourse with the man who claimed you were his booty call at work? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Jessica was not being truthful. <laughs> we asked you, did you have sexual intercourse with the man who gave you the teddy bear that was found in the trunk of your car? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Jessica was not being truthful. <laughs> we asked you, has your daughter helped cover up that you are cheating? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Jessica was not being true. Well, you know, here's the thing. The first question we asked you, have you had sexual intercourse with any of the men you go to college with, and you said no, the lie detector said you were telling the truth with that one, so it's either working for all of them or none of them. Tim, have you got any comments? You know, Trisha, I spoke with her yesterday. We spent a lot of time together. She had significant reactions to these questions during the pre-test interview. She was doing a lot of things that uh, people will do when they're being deceptive. Um, she was, was listening and doing other things. Dishonest. Well, the machine picked up that you had significant reactions. You, Tim says you were telling the <clears> truth <throat> with the first one, that you didn't have sex with the guys you, you went to college with, but you passed that one, but you failed the other one. So you look stunned. You look stunned, Larry. I'm blue away. I can't I believe I was it. not lying. We're going to divorce. I How are you an attorney? Bye. Why you gotta do this? Hey, 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 hey. I have not had sex with nobody. All right, we'll be right back. Next. How His are hands you? are shaking. Sex. 
lies and DNA. You're a lion team. cheating whore. Today on Trisha. You are 100% that LeBrandon is. It's Caleb's fault. Don't clap for him. Shut up. Don't clap oh, my for turn him. To talk. What makes you so sure Caleb is not your son? Everything she what? did. No, because you're listening, listening to your friend. Hold on. Shut up. Let me talk. Let me talk. What a man. What a man is going to take care of another man's baby. Why do my brother have to take care of him then? LeBrandon, you are a sorry excuse for a man. I dare you deny this beautiful little boy. I'm more of a father than you will ever be to Kayla. It's time to man up, LeBrandon. Let's, let's sort this out, and what you're here for are the DNA test results, so let's come to them. So, let me get this right. You're the one with all the doubt, so shouldn't you? You should be the one to open this, yeah? I should be the one to open it. Yeah. Do I've you been waiting wanna... for this for years. You have? Yes, yes ma'am. Okay. Ma I don't know you what should it's open it. You okay. should open it. Let's see. That's the only thing you're doing all right anyway. Okay. Just open it. Uh -oh. I, I open right here? Yeah, right there. Your Don't hands are his hands up. are shaking. I don't know what he's shaking for. The DNA test determined that LeBrandon is not the father. Oh. Oh. I'm very hurt. You're hurt. You loved that I'm very woman. Hurt. You loved her. I did. You my still love her. My man oh, intuition man. told me that. Hey, it's not. It's not. Let, you stay here. I want to talk to Shanita, okay? Yeah. Oh, man. Sweetheart. Okay. So there must have been someone else around at that time. You know, come on, because. And that's impassable, man. Yeah, well, well hang on. Just, that, that's what the DNA test said. And, and I'm just thinking medically and everything else, that little boy needs to know who his daddy is, you know, if there was ever a medical issue or anything yeah. like that. So you, this is, it's, it's not about being honest. It's not about LeBrandon anymore. So they can never be absolutely spot on with dates of pregnancy. It's, it's, it's kind of like a guess. Doctors, yeah, they don't. Man, so, crazy, the, Yo, do you I know who his daddy is? I never see her with nobody else, but uh, him. No, no, sorry. You, you know who it could be? I guess you need to choose that. Even if you find comfort with another guy, there's no chance you catch anything or get pregnant again. And you have got a fantastic male role model for your little boy in your brother, General Sweetheart. Okay. And I know you'll take care of her, my little boy. No, I will, man. Definitely, that's my sister, man. I will, man. I'm you'll be there. there. Cool. Good luck. Well, not gonna lie, Trisha. Yeah. You know, right here, right here, I still, I feel kind of bad for her. Do you still love her? Yeah. If it wasn't about the paternity, would you still be with her? Really? I wouldn't mind. Would you mind getting? I mean, in your heart of hearts, you know, with the. Would, it'll, it'll, would, would you be, like to be back with her? Really? It'll be. It'll have to be after I forgive her for taking me through all this stuff for these yeah. years. But you still love her? Yeah. And you would take her back if you could come to that kind of, because she kind of seems to love you, too. Yeah. I would. Can I go talk to her? Don't give her a hug. Can I go talk to her? Don't give her a hug. Oh. We'll be right back. Sex, lies, and DNA. You're a lion cheating. cheating whore. Today on Trisha. I want to thank you so much for watching, but remember there will be more truth tomorrow.